Hello friends, my name is Pratik and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to see that if you are using Bheem application and if you are doing frequent transaction with your friend or your family member uh, each and every month or a week and if you are not interested in adding those bank details each and every time you do a transaction. So today's video is all about that. How you can add a beneficiary account in Bheem application. I'll guide you with all the steps. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. To add a beneficiary bank account in Bheem application, you have to open the Bheem application first. You have to enter the four digit code and you have to start the application. Once the application is completely started, you can see this kind of interface on your mobile screen. So to add a beneficiary account in Bheem application, all you have to do is you have to tap on profile icon at the bottom. So here is the profile icon. You have to select that option. So once you select profile icon, you are on my profile page and on this page, you can see your QR code. If you want to share this QR code, you can download it and share it or you can directly share it from this option. Uh, you can see your full name. You will uh, able to see your UPI ID over here and there are much more details on this page. So if you scroll down, you will see the bank account option and there are two more options over at the bottom, which is favorite and I am a merchant. So to add a beneficiary account, you have to select favorites option. So you have to tap on that. And once you tap on favorite, you will be redirected to favorite page. And on this page, you will get two options. One is the UPI ID option and the other one is account plus IFSC option. So as you can see, uh, we are uh, currently on UPI page and there is no beneficiary account added on this page. And if I select account plus IFSC, here you can see I have already added a beneficiary account and it is my own account. So for example, if you want to add any beneficiary account using the UPI ID, you can select UPI ID option and you can click on add UPI ID and you can add a beneficiary account using the UPI ID. Uh, but in today's video, I'm going to show how to add a beneficiary account using account number and IFSC code. So we are on the account plus IFSC uh, page right now. So here already uh, account is added, but I will show you another account. So I will tap on add account plus IFSC. So after selecting that option, we are on bank page. So here you have to select the bank account, which you are willing to add in the application. So I'm going to add uh, another account of my own and it is of Indescent bank account. So I'll type Indescent in the search bar. And as you can see, Indescent bank account is showing over here. So I'll tap on Indescent bank. So after selecting the bank, we are on next page and on this page, you have to enter some details. So you have to enter the IFSC code over here. Uh, you can enter the name of beneficiary. So for example, you are adding your friend's account in the benefit as a beneficiary. So you can write his name over or her name over here. And you have to enter the account number over here and you have to confirm the account number once again. And after you enter all the details properly, you have to click on verify. So I'll quickly enter all the details. So I have entered all the details properly. Now, after entering all the details, I'll click on verify. So the details are been verified. And after that, you can check the option is change to save. So all you have to do is you have to tap on save and you will get a pop up message add to favorite. All you have to do is click on add. So now you can see we have added Indescent bank account where successfully. So this is a beneficiary account. So I have added my own account over here to show you as an example. You can add your family members account, your friends account with whom you are doing frequent transaction every week or every day or every month. So there won't be any problem from the next time. So you just have to add the account and from next time you can directly select uh, this account from the list and you can do the payment. So these are the simple steps you have to follow if you want to add a beneficiary account in Beam application. So that's pretty much it for today's video guys. If you liked the video, hit that like button, share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.